Hey, what's up and good morning everyone. It is 5.58 in the morning. Um, I've been up since about 4 a.m. Uh, just getting myself prepared. Uh, did a cool little, well, a cool little quick little shaving video this morning. I'm gonna try and put that in the vlog. Um, but yeah, this is uh, week two of the vlog, so um, guess uh, week two is Sunday morning, 5.58. I'm gonna get my stuff together and I'm actually gonna get a workout in this morning. I'm not gonna do anything else. Um, I wanted to do some video editing, which I still have to do and accomplish. But yeah, you guys, I've just been trying to get myself together. So, stomach feels good today. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, no excuses. Let's go outside and get to this workout. Here we go. So once again, windmills are really something. Definitely not an easy thing to achieve. It looks fairly simple, but uh, if you haven't been working out for some time, you can definitely feel that one. So 20 seconds, once again, let's get to it. I'm gonna come towards you guys this time. Here we go. I definitely broke a sweat. It was not the easiest thing to do at all. My heart rate definitely is up. Now we're gonna go over to the last section. I'm gonna finish that. Right 
here, find my playlist, and PT in the morning. Nothing but slaps. Something to wake you up. Something to motivate you. Something just to make you feel good. So we got our chin up, five chin ups, hold for a count of five. Then we got our incline chin ups, five times, hold for a count of seven. And then we got our inverted chin ups, hold for a count of five. So we're gonna do each one five times. So I never take pull ups for granted because these are some of the hardest things to do. Pulling up your whole, all your body weight, holy moly. All right, so let's go five chin-ups. Oh God, I failed you guys. All right, not fucking with me. So here's the thing. When it comes to getting good, getting better at chin-ups, it's gonna take some time for sure. So never get discouraged. Never ever get discouraged about not being able to pull off a full chin up. So what you want to do is get as much of your weight up as you can and hold it until your body can't hold it anymore. Just struggle all the way down and then release once you can't hold on anymore. So I'm going to try and get two of those in just to kind of show you what it looks like. And then we're going to switch over to the suspension trainer. All right. So here we go. Typically what I like to do is I like to go with the incline. So my hands, my palms facing me, and I'm gonna come up. Hold it for as long as you can, and slowly let yourself down. If you can, do a bicycle. But if you can, it's okay. Just go slow. Trust me, in three months, you'll be up to two pull-ups. <laughs> Here we go, one more. Woo. Man, long way to go. All right. So since we're not able to accomplish any of these chin-ups here today, we're gonna move on over to the suspension trainer. And I'm gonna show you a few workouts you could do there to build up your back, your shoulder, and those arms, all right?
Woo! Hey! I'm gonna keep it G with y'all. I think I'm done with today's workout. We did a good job. Let's keep it going. See you guys out here tomorrow morning. <laughs>